Welcome back, everyone. We are playing Prey, and I am here with Thrift. Hello. I am in the co-pilot seat this time, and I will try my dandest not to screw with any of the tech while I'm watching. <laughs> this logo is extremely complicated. For, There's... for something... For something that you want, I mean, it is instantly recognizable, yes, but, you know, that's that's a lot going on. You know what bothers me about it? It has a T but no S, and the company is Transtar. Yeah, uh, I mean, they, they're going for a sort of, like, they've talked about Orbit, right? Yeah. Like so, so if this is like you know, yeah, we've got space station. We're we're the company that runs the space station. That's that's what they're doing here. Um, you know, of course, I I don't expect a um don't expect a video game company to you know make actual like. consult their marketing department about how to make good fictional logos oh no no you, you no i doubt their marketing department knows how to make good logos like a graphic design firm right is not go like they're going to give the logo design to their graphic design department um and you know a gra a, a firm that specializes in this sort of brand it like Transtar probably does have a branding guide thing somewhere in the art department, but it's like they've the art department's also got to do all the textures and all the and everything. And the logo is great. Don't mind me. Um, ooh, I do like this though. That that is very pretty. The last frontier is the human mind and we are its pioneers oh okay i'm Can i'm not going calm down i'm looking at the art and and behind the art you i mean this place me this place is also kind of dirty it like look is. at this. They're, those are actual divots, aren't they? Yeah. No, oh my goodness. Look at the lights. Yeah. No, no the, the the floorboard lights. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um Hello science operator. I'm a civil 495 science class operator. Why, why do you have exposed wiring? Uh, okay. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live vision. Did that... Yeah. Wait a minute, yeah, go to yeah. options, see if there's a way to turn on subtitles. There it is, it's set to main dialogue right now, so it's not set to side things. Elevator will take you directly to the testing area. All our labs meet the minimum. <laughs> Strange. That's never happened before. Okay. I have to file a maintenance request. Please excuse me, Dr. Yu. So that's deliberate. Okay. That's not... Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Um, there's weird substance being scritched across the floor there. It's outside the door. You can't see it now. Oh. There were like streaks. Okay. 
Yeah, that's, uh... Well, I'll see it on the VOD. Mm -hmm. there... Morgan! That's the scene. Finally! Oh, no, that that's rubber from, um, like... Oh, carts uh, and stuff. Carts and stuff, yeah, no, that's... But that's the sort of thing you see on, like, a mall floor. Mm-hmm. Be before the cleaners get to it. Oh, my God. Um... I know you're going... I know you're going to space, Alex, but, like, get a cleaner, dude. No? No talk? No? What's going on here? Can we go past? Hey, you don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. You do. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. A lot of blinking lights here. Yeah. Dr. Yu. Audio files. Yeah. Recognize the this is interesting. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay, I'm sorry, but look at this. That's pretty clean. That is A, really clean, but B, it it looks Dr. old. You. More yeah. Good. We're ready. Watch your feedback. Drop with F or... Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Do you want to try again just to see... Just to get the hints... The, the tutorial of the... Of the thing? What... What was I supposed to be doing? Getting the boxes I... out of the red circle as quickly as possible. Okay. I mean, I can't... I mean, you... You know... No, I was just saying pick up a box and throw it. But Okay, Morgan. Oh, Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Look. Is she? She's hiding behind the chair. Hmm, uh, any synaptic register at all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. Why do we f I feel like we're being talked down to? Oh, because we are. Okay. Climbing over objects, all right. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. What are you expecting me to do, run across the ceiling? I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I 
installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Why do I get the feeling the equipment they're having troubles with is us? <laughs> I'll be quiet now. Down. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Yay, psych test. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. You're the one that wrote this test. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's the literal trolley problem. Good. Next. Almost done. Wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a uh, moment, I'm going to ask you what... Dude, dude uh, no, no, no. It's empty. I thought it's empty. Oh, oh my God. Security! Security! Uh... Oh, yeah, knock, knocking me out was a great plan. Um, Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. So Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Well that, well, that was a fucked up dream. Pardon my French. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm messing with your um with your algorithm. Nah, it's fine. I oh. slip myself occasionally. Anything in the closet? Oh, okay. Looks like the same stuff. Wow, I now I'm noticing the flaws here. Yeah, like I think there's still there's some of the stuff we can pick up. Like uh, that's in a different position. Yeah, oh. that was from before. That's from before. What? That's the same. Congrats, Morgan. That's the, the same congratulation notes from before. Oh, right. Okay. It's the same congratulation note, because I thought... For a moment, I thought that that was... Um... Is there anything in the fridge? Wow, okay, so... You thought Somebody, what? I thought that that was like um, 
you the future um like that was a you know congrats we we succeeded on our tests mm. sort of thing oh wait we missed all these Damn it! Am I gonna have to read everything in this game? You don't have to. Some of it's really cool, but okay. Tang Dynasty verse, cool. And they're all grateful. They're mostly gratefully really short. Hmm. It's okay. I'm not gonna read all of these aloud. Mm. No worries. But. Something spooky is going on. Uh, subject to mild sense deprivation in order to test for telepathy. A reveal of, reveals a hit rate of 39%. Parapsychological meta analysis. That's very scientific, guys. Uh, nature of consciousness ranked deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience my inner life? be explained in scientific terms. Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons, or is it fundamental and irrevocable properly woven into the fabric of the universe? Um... <sighs> Principles of neuroscience. Brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum incoherence in biological processes such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and their own sense of smell paved the way for eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. Engineering control system too. There's a metaphor here, you know. Typically, the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output, the reference signal. The difference between the actual and the desired outputs, the error signal, is applied as feedback to the input of the system to bring the actual output closer to the reference. Good control systems and good engineers learn from the past. What's on the desk there? Oh, file. Fermi's... Oh. oh dear. Okay. Consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun. Many of them far older. These are... Uh, yeah, it's the Fermi paradox. Yep. Gee, um, that's not going to be... Which a... is... Sorry, you go. That's not going to be relevant to this game at all. Oh, no. No, no we're just having weird dreams <coughs> about aliens. That turn into coffee Already. cups. Yeah. Um, I, I had really forgotten how condescending that test was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how are we doing for time? Uh, about five more minutes on this one, and then we'll switch. So I think we can probably get to the elevator. Is that crackling on your side too? A little bit. Um, oh, sorry. I I need to pause for a moment. Uh, this may be a good place to break the video. I am very sorry. No worries. We'll just have a relatively shorter one here. Yes. My apologies. Bye, everybody. <laughs>